Alright guys, we're going to be doing an in-depth analysis of a hero's legacy for the Goku Jr. that's coming to Global. Um, this is going to be a full guide on the event, the card, and team building, so we're going to try and make it as quick as we possibly can. Um, first off, the hero's legacy is supposed to be coming tonight um, at 9, well actually let's go to look at the release schedule, 9, 8, 2017 at 11.30 p.m. PDT, so that should be around like 2.30 in the morning for us Eastern folks. Um, make sure you go ahead and get prepped for this event, it's going to be a little bit of a grind fest guys, but you can do it and I highly recommend doing it so let's go ahead take a look at the card real quick this is the base form quickening superpower goku jr his leader ability is intelligence type key plus one attack and defense plus 25 percent super attack key blast can and causes extreme damage to the enemy passive skill grandma's uh, grandma pan's teaching attack plus 30 percent with a high chance of an extra attack plus 30 percent and defense minus 60 percent so he debuffs himself on the defensive side which kind of sucks uh, when performing a super attack link skills are courage innocence sane warrior race all in the family sane lineage and gt his max stats are hp of 5865 attack of 6228 and defense of 2908 he doken awakens with five medals for that you get, actually get from the event he has a 12 key multiplier of 120 percent um, he has his own unique potential system orbs, similar to the technique Balma. If you guys are new here, I'm going to be going over the orbs in a second. It requires 6,540 orbs to max them out, small orbs, 3,335 medium orbs, and 346 large orbs. His base, well, his max stats when you get him in base form is HP of 9,865, 10,228 attack, and defense of 6,908. His HP was uh, 9,865. Overall, really good unit. I actually recommend, I'm going to say this again a little bit later, to get him and his Dokkan variant both to 100% if you have the time and resources. If not, I just recommend at least getting one, but both of them become very useful because they link together. Um, I actually already spoke about that, so we're going to close that out. So the medals are Lord Yao. It's going to be available in the event, so you're going to want to grind out those in order to Dokkan Awaken him. In terms of the event, it's Dragon Ball GT, a hero's legacy. So that's going to be coming out tonight, like I stated earlier. Um, so there's a couple levels in here. Level 1, Great Ancestor. This is where you can grind out Goku Jr. He only has a 16% drop rate, so it's like, it's not really low, but it's kind of low. You know, it's going to be really hard for you to get a six ever the 16% drop rate, uh, assuming once every, uh, maybe the 9, 8, 9, 10 run, something like that, you might get one. And if you're trying to go for a secondary one, it's going to be a little bit of a grind fest. If not, you don't have to worry about it because of all the mission rewards. Um, level 2, Journey Begins, just something quick. You go, um, you go and beat that. Level 3, you go ahead beat that there's nothing special there uh level four lord yao the uh, Mar marauder <laughs> this is where you're gonna get the medals that doken awaken him so go ahead and check that out apparently it's a hundred percent drop rate uh oh no it's not a hundred percent it only drops that and i guess it drops between zero to two of them that's why it's a hundred percent but level four is where you get the medals that doken awaken him so keep that in mind you're not gonna have to grind it out too much it doesn't look like and then level 5, Proof of Courage. This is the level that you're going to be grinding out the orbs. So it looks like there's going to be similar to the um, the Technique Balm event. Now, I didn't grind this on the, the actual... Um, on the JP side, I didn't grind it at all. I think I just got the card. But uh, I guess the one side you get between 60 to 100 large gems or orbs, and then you have 30 to 59 medium, and then 3 to 4 large orbs. Kind of sucks really low compared uh, comparatively anyway. Um, there is a stage 5 of the Secret Nimbus Cloud, similar to the Bulma event. Uh, appears about 20% of the time apparently, and you're going to take that in order to get a hell of a lot more orbs. You, if you get all of the pans, it looks like you get 330 small. 370 times for the medium and 37 times for the large so it definitely makes it worth it um, let's see so yeah small orbs take the left path medium orbs take the middle path and large orbs you take the right path so keep that in mind as well uh, mission rewards is actually where you're going to be getting the duplicates um Every, about every 10% of Goku Jr.'s potential grid that you, that's unlocked, you get an additional Goku Jr., 8 in total. Uh, you get a reversal for re getting him 50% done with the, in the du duplicate system. And when you get 100%, you get an Elder Kai. I mean, I know we have so many of them as at this point in the game. Uh, but hey, you know what? You can never knock it. And unlocking each path of Goku Jr.'s potential grid, you get an additional Goku Jr. This is how you're going to 100% him. If you're trying to go for both, remember, it's going to be a little bit of a grind fest, but level 1. Now, when he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens into Courage Awakens Super Saiyan Goku Jr. Now, this is a decent card overall, really. Uh, leader skill is Intelligence Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%, so he's a little mini uh, lead. 
Uh, not great for the key because he's missing one, but you know there are, there are a lot of different units that actually give you key support. You don't have to really worry about that. Super attack is Brave Smash, supreme damage to the enemy, passive skill, unbeatable courage. Attack plus 40% with a great chance of an extra attack plus 40%, so that's an 80% attack increase with supreme damage. Uh, and when it goes off, though, defense minus 40%, so it's a little bit less than 60%, 20% less uh, when performing a super attack. Link skills are Courage, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, GT, and Shattering the Limit. Max stats are HP of 6590, attack of 6590, and defense of 3044. So his 12 key multiplier is only 125%, which is kind of low. He is good, though, on the on the uh, LR Freeze event, as you see over here. LR Freeze of the Goku event. And since he has GT, he's good on the Shadow Dragons event. And since he has Super Saiyan, he's good on the Janemba event. Figure I just mentioned all that anyway. Um, we already talked about all of that. And his max system, when he has max dupe system, is HP of 10590, attack of 10590, and defense of 7044. Really good. Now, we're going to go ahead over here into the Reddit real quick. By the way, shout out to dbz.space and to the wiki and to the Reddit. And we're going to go into Dokkan Battle Builder in a second. So shout out to all of them. I'm, yeah, I'm using every resource to my availability right now. Um, and right over here, I'm not going to go like super in-depth in all this. This is the damage calculations. I'll leave this linked so you could, you could read everything. But it looks like uh, average damage after all dupe system abilities with a double Super Saiyan 4, I mean, the, the double Super Gogeta lead. On average, he is doing 5,943 uh, wait, 5, uh, 596,493 damage. Uh, it's really freaking good card overall. And then again, this is just his average damage after all dupe systems are factored in. So he is a really good unit. He's going to be a really good filler unit. I'm not going to say he is a, a primary unit you're going to want to run on a mono intelligence team, but he is a good filler unit if you don't have cards. He's definitely so, because he's free. You can grind him yet. It's a little bit of a grind fest, but it's worth it in my opinion. Let's go ahead and talk about his linking uh, characters right now. Um, so, his linking abilities, as you probably already know, it's going to be all the Gokus. Now, I took out all of the SSR variants of their Dokkan forms. So, like, if you see over here how we have the Strength and the Technique. So, the Strength Goku, uh, the Technique Vegeta, and the... Well, actually, not him. Oh, yeah, and this version, the um, Agility Goku, the GTs, all their SSR variants link with him with one less link skill. But we're going to go ahead and talk about that. So, I got the four star, uh, the four link skill buddies over here. This is the Technique Goku. I actually have... Uh, where are you? That is the Intelligence team. I have it up on my on my second monitor right now. Um, and also, if you notice a little bit of a difference over here, why the box is so much larger, I switched over to using my monitor that I just got last week because it's a widescreen, and I didn't realize now I actually have more of a map to work on, more of a grid to work on, so that way I could actually spread them out a little bit easier. So this is going to be the all-out release Super Saiyan Goku GT. He's the nuker. He only does extreme damage. Not a really good unit um, at all. I don't recommend really running it with him, but he does share four link skills if you want to run him on like a mono hero team or something like that uh, he, not bad not um, not an amazing unit you get him from the Dragon Ball G, a GT event um, then you have the Goku Jr. he links with, obviously, this is why I said you would want to run it with him. Plus, both of these cards, that, that even though they linked well together, also run on the Frieza event and the Goku event, so you can keep that in mind. You could run, like, a little mini uh, the, the mini lead that you could run on the um, Intelligence team and bring it to the Goku event. You could destroy him if you already haven't done so. The Dokkan version of that Gohan is... Um, is another good, decent linking character. He shares four link skills with him. He's actually pretty decent because he's going to be uh, one of the. Well, not like I say, he is the top, the primary, but he has shattering. This Gohan has shattering the limit. Um, he shares four link skills with this Goku Junior, and his passive skill is attack plus ninety percent with supreme damage. And then you have the um, you know big ass hope Goku, the one that um, was available from the event. Not really a, a card that I'm going to recommend running at all. But he does share four link skills with him. Uh, the Sun family, the Goku family, um, Super Saiyan, Breakthrough, Shattering the Limit, and Golden Warrior. So they share 25% uh, up and key plus three. The Gohan he shares four links with was, if it wants to load, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, uh, yeah, Breakthrough. So those two. And then the, obviously the Goku Jr. is really good because he gets four key and 15% defense buff. Um, in terms of the other Gokus, these guys share five links, the two Gokus and the Vegeta. Um, Golden Warrior, so the Sun Family, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Blood, and GT, so that's one, uh, that's, wait, two, three, four key, 15% defense buff, and 10% attack buff. Believe this is the same thing, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Saiyan yeah, one, uh, two, four, five, six, so it's actually six key, because he got Shattering the Limit, and he only has a 10%, so he doesn't have the Sun Family. And this one is the same thing, two, four, six key, and 10% attack buff. 
And the agility Goku actually looks like it hits all, I think, every single... How many Link skills does he have, actually? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he has seven Link skills. He hits off six of them. So this is his best linking buddy. You have Golden Warrior, you have the Sun Family, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Blood, GT, and Breakthrough. So um, this guy, this agility Goku, if you have him and you're just trying to create a good team, if you're basing your team, I don't know why you would, but if you're basing your team around this Goku Jr., this Goku over here is going to be his best linking buddy, number one linking buddy. And this Goku shares six link skills with each of these two guys the other Goku, and the Vegeta. So keep that in mind. Really useful. Um, that agility Goku, though, he is attack plus 70% of the start turn with supreme damage. So he is a good... Uh, if you're Actually, you could probably focus around that one, uh, around this Goku, and you could run these three on the team. And any of these guys could technically be on rotation if you wanted them to be. Um, not really that great, but what can you do? Also, the Technique Vegeta does attack plus 90%. So, I think the the, the strength one just kind of sucks. The, the strength Goku is only attack and defense plus 9,000. That's this guy right here. Uh, not really that viable. Anyway, I'm rambling on about that one. Let's go on to the next mono intelligence team. Now, I kind of just brought out everyone that I think can de run decently on the team. I don't have literally everyone here. Like, I don't have this Trunks here, and I don't have Vegeta. I just have a couple people who I would think. Now, these are all your leaders, and these are actually primarily who you're going to want to run if you have them. Now, this is the Gogeta, um, Vegeta, and the Trunks, and, the L and LR Gohan. Now, obviously, not everyone's going to have LR Gohan, but I did want to throw him on here just so I could show linking abilities. He doesn't really run that well on this team at all. So, if you see Vegeta, he only shares one link skill. With Super Gogeta, he only shares two link skills, and that two link skills are Golden Warrior and Super Saiyan. Not really that viable. He has a nice attack buff. and I mean, Vegeta is just Super Saiyan. Um, Trunks, he only shares two key with. LR Gohan, he shows shares one key. His base form of LR Gohan shares two key, I mean, two link skills. So not amazing, but, it's, you know, what can you do? He shares uh, two link skills with the Gotenks. He only share he doesn't share anything with Piccolo. He shares three with the Super Saiyan God Goku, but God, God Goku is really just a, a freaking, you know, uh, he allows everyone to link with him. So Super Saiyan, Saiyan Blood, and Breaking the Limit is where he shares with. So that's three. That's, I think, him and this Goku are the two best that actually link with him. Um, so this is the Super Saiyan Goku, the alt TUR one. I think this is Shattering the Limit as well. Yeah, Shattering the Limit, Super Saiyan Golden Warrior. Uh, you have the Spardock, only shares two. And Ultimate Gohan only shares one. And then you have the three support units that you can run over here. You have the Goku, the buff Ku card. And he shares three because he gets Breaking the Limit as well. Uh, Whis only shares one, and I believe that is Shattering the Limit as well. Yep. And then you have the base Gohan, which is, I believe, just, yeah, just Saiyan Blood. So the three support units are here. All the leaders are over here, and these are probably going to be primary cards you would run if you have them. And then these are all the other cards that you would probably want to run in, um, outside of these guys and these guys. So overall, he doesn't link that well. He only has a couple cards that he shares three link skills with, and that is the two Gokus. And actually, it's all the Gokus. If you look at it, it's really he shares the, the Shattering the Limit and the other two, all the Goku card, uh, links. Anyway. That's it for the analysis. Overall, on a mono intelligence team, he's not the best, but he could do well as a filler unit if you don't have a lot of these characters. Um, in terms of who he links with, not that many viable units. Maybe just this Gohan. Oh, I kept this Gohan off of this list as well, just because I uh, yeah, felt like he didn't. I, I didn't want to clutter everything up. But this Gohan would be good on a mono intelligence team. He does share for a, a couple link skills with him as well, um, four link skills to be exact. So you could, I guess if you don't have anyone and you're running this Gohan on that team, you could put them together because they will short share for link skills. Uh, but overall, I feel like there, there could be better possible units that you could run. Let's just go ahead and bring them on here real quick, just to see who that Gohan actually links with. Uh, yeah, four link skills, but I mean, a better person to run him with would be, the, I mean, you could share him with that buff coup. Uh, the two Goku cards on the bottom, and that's it for four link skills. So these two uh, Gokus and this Goku is who Gohan would pair better with than this GT Goku. So, uh, you know, take it for what you will. But anyway, guys, that's the full in-depth analysis. Thank you for joining me here today. I'm at the 14-minute mark. I know I rambled a lot, but thank you for joining me here today. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. I hope this was beneficial, and I'll catch you all later.